today we're taking a look at bros. Beach bros, that is. When bros get to the beach and they have a few drinks, it is show off time. And we are gonna enjoy every second of it today. Their mentality is seemingly along the lines of not only am I amazingly good looking, but everyone loves me, everyone's impressed by me, and I am invincible. Don't make me take my flannel off. At least I can only assume this is the mentality that these bros in the following footage have. Now honestly, I wouldn't f with beach bros in person. They're super easy to make fun of from afar, but the thing is, if you make fun of them in person, they will be reminded that they have a small Johnston in their pants, which will immediately make them angry, and it will block their ability to think rationally. And 95% of the time, they will attack. Beach bros are dangerous, you gotta watch out for them. So today, I will be the ultimate keyboard warrior. And I will make fun of them from the comfort of my home, all for the sake of entertaining you guys. I'm Jack Denny of the Juice Squad, and welcome to episode one of Bros of the Beach. <laughs> You know, there's all kinds of beach bros. And honestly, during my research, I found dozens, if not hundreds of videos that are worth mentioning of bros of the beach. Before we do that, I need a little, uh, shout out to Bang Energy. Shout out to the Bang Energy CEO for fueling the dream. Let's dive right into a clip. <laughs> clip number one of the day. Dude, this guy's a legend, like, he's already got the gloves on, he's clearly been practicing quarantine for just decades. Oh, bro, how are you gonna make it to the beach now, bro? Damn, get clapped. Oh, man, that brings us to the next clip. This bra's just trying out here trying to wash his flippers off, dude. Oh, bro. No. Ooh. Well, here's a lesson in the book of bros. Do not run with a leash. I learned this lesson firsthand. But the thing is, nobody filmed it, thank God. Oh yes, running, 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 and it's over! It's all done, oh my gosh, dude. Bro, don't run with a leash. You get to the water, then you put the leash on. Run to the water, put the leash on, paddle out. I don't think that running with any sort of rope around your ankle is a good idea, let alone while carrying a dagger that has fins in it. Next we have just the ultimate bro. Like, bro, I'm going surfing, but like, I gotta go get myself a vitamin water, and I can't be walking across this hot parking lot without protection on. Now this guy's probably never surfed in his life, but he looks dope. He's got a girl with, uh, maybe? Uh, actually, no. No, that's his mom. That's his mom. We're gonna continue on. Another sick jet ski, bro. You know how sick it would be if I just beached my jet ski up on the sand? Like, watch this. Are the girls watching? Are they watching? Are they got this? Oh, sh damn, he exploded. <laughs> These guys are definitely bros. I think that they were planning for him to, like, ride up on shore, then they're gonna toss him a beer, but he just got clapped, and they're like, well, it didn't work. Here's your beer, John. <laughs> Damn, now we have the ultimate bro, Medina. Oh, bro, that ain't cool. That is not cool, bro. To a point where you do have priority, and I don't think this situation is going to play here. I mean, that's, he has free reign to be where he wants. I mean, he can't, he can. Wait for it, wait for it, oh, Slater is such a bro, dude, he is such a bro. So this is a controversy. Uh, for one, there's like a consensus that Brazilian surfers tend to snake people more. That's the consensus on the internet. I know that Brazilian skimboarders definitely do that, you guys know who you are. But in this instance, I think that something needs to be done because Slater was clearly already riding the wave, already getting barreled, and Medina only dropped in on that wave to prevent Kelly from scoring. While I do believe that if you have priority, you should be able to go on whatever wave you want, if there's not scoring potential there, I don't think that you should be allowed to just ruin someone's 
ride and honestly put their safety in danger too. So I'm going to have to give Medina a thumbs down for this one. I'm also a Florida boy. Kelly Slater is a Florida boy. Kelly's one of the greatest, is the greatest surfer of all time. And uh, Medina dropped in on him. And that ain't cool, dude. That ain't cool. Whether it's a competition or not, you don't drop in on Kelly Sl fucking Slater, dog. Dude, I see stuff like this all the time. Like, all the time. You want to learn how to not be a massive kook? Maybe I just need to make a video about how to not be a giant, giant kook. All the time, I see people with their fins in the back. Not only is this guy's fin in the back, his board is obscurely tied like... This guy just literally did everything wrong, but if you're putting a surfboard on a car, put the fins towards the front, and then put the strap right behind the fins, and your board will never fly off if you have a good strap, unless the strap malfunctions. This is a very good example of not tying your boards properly. Oh! Oh my god, dude, and those things are like projectile missiles, so not only are you gonna- Ooh, damn, there goes an 8 foot log, 10 foot log, just gone. I've heard that this has happened to people before. For one, just buy some good straps, get the ratchet straps that crank, put towels underneath your boards, and then put your boards with the fins facing the front. Like, do I really need to do a tutorial on how to put a fucking board on the roof of a car? But this is legendary. I have been these guys. Hey. Anybody else in there? Let's start going! I just gotta give them props because like I have been with somebody who had a small car and we all had boards and like sometimes it's that's how it is. This is cringe and this is everything I don't like about surfing. If you're gonna surf, go surf, but like don't use surfing as a way to pick up girls i mean i guess if you're 15 it's different these kids are just kooks here we go this is legendary this is absolute legend status this is surfboard jousting there's no audio it's just music like i would prefer just to hear these <laughs> these guys crashing into each other but they put on helmets they got in shopping carts and they're using foam surfboards as their jousting sticks and are just destroying each other I do not recommend this. I appreciate it. I'm glad that this footage exists, but this is so, so dumb, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. That looks, that's like a good way to break your neck. This guy. Oh man, dude. Oh, he's feeling himself. There's really not even room to hate on this guy. He's just kind of a legend. He might have a yeast infection, but he's certainly certainly a legend i don't think anyone can deny that this guy is just a coming for your mother coming for your mother <laughs> this video just cracks me up this guy's actually not terrible at surfing but it's just a really funny clip so i'm gonna play it for you guys going for the tube oh his leg gets clapped off lands on somebody else's surfboard and goes for a ride like that guy was oh oh so he tried to stall to get away from the longboard that somebody dumped like that guy just ditched oh <laughs> i don't know why this clip is just so funny to me that guy... <laughs> oh that's like a monday that's like just anyone's monday oh man now our final clip of the day we're just gonna we're just gonna end it right here so these bros are changing their tire in their wetsuits so one thing that i never never ever understood unless it's like freezing is putting your wetsuit on before you left your house it looks sunny it looks nice clearly it's not that cold because they have their wetsuits at their waist i'm not gonna lie i learned the hard way not to put a wetsuit on before you go to try to find waves because what will probably end up happening obviously worst case scenario is something like this your tire popping but you'll go to a spot the waves will suck at that spot you'll go to another spot the waves aren't ideal there and then like the third spot finally you'll find waves maybe you won't even find waves maybe it'll suck and then you just put your wetsuit on for no reason but <laughs> it's not that hard if you've been surfing or if you are just generally coordinated at all 
you put a towel around your waist, take your board shorts off, and then put your wetsuit on. Another thing too is never wear board shorts or underwear under your wetsuit. It's the most uncomfortable thing ever. You're supposed to be naked grandmas underneath that thing. It is horrible, it is the worst thing ever. I might have done it once when I was younger, and I might have done it because I was like wearing someone else's wetsuit, but I see a lot of people with like boxers or board shorts underneath their wetsuits. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I, I think that this video, this is pretty much a video on how not to be a kook. I might just have to make a video called how to not be a massive kook. Because apparently people don't know. Ah, well, thank you guys. This is Jack Tenney of the Juke Squad getting ready to sign out. I hope you're enjoying this quarantine. I have 14 trampolines outside my house that I don't know what to do with. Help, come up with ideas for me. If we're gonna be locked in quarantine, I'm gonna be come, you better believe that I'm gonna come out of quarantine with some of the best video ideas you've ever seen in your life ever even if there's a fire i don't know thank you guys for watching i appreciate it if you want some pit vipers go to pitviper.com oh man these kooks got my blood boiling